There have been a lot of layoffs in biotech recently, and getting a job is not easy. I've reviewed hundreds of CVs as a hiring manager at two previous jobs, and I've seen two things that applicants don't do well. First of all, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the hiring manager. Every job posting gets hundreds of applications, so you're lucky if anyone spends more than 30 seconds reading yours. I'm not exaggerating. So you have to review your CV with that in mind and help them find what they're looking for. So if you have work experience, please, please, please do not start your CV with your education. Put your work experience at the top. Because if the company is hiring for senior folks, they might look at your CV for two seconds, see your education, and assume you're fresh out of school and throw out your application. I usually keep scrolling, but not everybody does. And if you're putting education at the top because you want to convey you have a master's or a PhD, instead, you can do that by writing it next to your name, like this. Next, get rid of things that are not relevant. At this point, nobody really needs to know your street address or that you won the spelling bee in high school. Keep it to the point. And look, everyone says you have to include your GitHub profile on your CV. Only do that if there's actually something useful there. If it's empty or if it's just a bunch of forks of homework assignments, what's the point? Yes, ideally you'd have built up side projects on GitHub that showcase your skills, but that takes a while. So if you can do it, by all means go ahead. It will absolutely help. I've, I've been hired in the past almost entirely based on a side project. And I remember one interview where instead of asking me a systems design question on a made up scenario, they asked me to talk about the infrastructure that I built on my project and why I made those decisions. This was the easiest interview ever. And so overall, your goal is to write a CV that convinces the recruiters or the hiring manager that they need to spend more than 30 seconds on your application. The second common mistake I see is underselling yourself. Look, don't lie on your CV, obviously, but most of the time, people undersell themselves by only describing what they did and not what problem they were solving and what impact they ended up having. So don't just say, I improved pipelines for methylation analysis. That's way too vague. I'm thinking, improved how? What was wrong with the previous pipeline? Was the accuracy not good? Was it too slow? And second, what was your role in this project? Did you come up with the idea, design the algorithm, run the benchmarks, implement it? Were you leading the effort? Did you work with a team of three people? And so on. And third, what was the impact of your work? Did you improve the accuracy? Did you return results to customers a day earlier? Did you save 10% on cloud costs? Did you reduce support tickets? All these are important details that very few people include. And note how these things sound very concrete, but still impressive without using jargon, without using words like a paradigm shift or synergy. You don't need that is your goal is just to paint a clear picture of the awesome work that you did. And by the way, measuring the impact of your work is what you have to do anyway if you want to get promoted to more senior levels. So start tracking these things from day one. Well, that's all I had to share for now. I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in getting your own CV reviewed, we're happy to do it as a recorded session on this channel so that everyone else and benefit. Just email us at youtube at omgenomics.com and attach your CV. And finally, make sure to subscribe to the OM Genomics channel. And I'll see you later.